am Sue. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> we are live, right? Yes, we are live now. <laughs> this is Susan Cope over here at Carolina Tiger Rescue, and it has been a Giving Tuesday whirlwind of activity around here at the sanctuary. We have so many donations coming in, and we are so thankful. Last check, we are right at $48,200, and that is just awesome. Our goal was 42000 so we surpassed it. And it is because of donors like you and people who love the animals here at Carolina Tiger Rescue that have all chipped in together to make this Giving Tuesday a oh, Giving Tuesday to remember. Um, we have a few more hours where we can still raise more money and all the money that we raise today for Giving Tuesday will go in to support our, um, our habitats that we are currently working on redoing and building. I have Catherine here and our beautiful Shayla. <laughs> Tiger who has come over here to join us and Catherine's going to talk a little bit about our new um, enclosed why uh, why they're $42,000 <laughs> and why it's so important to have them. I'm going to start by explaining why Shayla is multicolored today <laughs> um, and you may be able to see on the video um, that she has some different color. Oh, oh, there we go. That was, that's beautiful. Good job, Shayla. Um, <laughs> that she's a little colorful today. So uh, one, one of the things that we do as part of our enrichment um, is that we do painting with the tigers. Um, it All the colors and all the places, um, she really gets into painting. Um, and particularly with that white coat, all of those extra colors uh, stand out. These are non-toxic paints. They'll wash off in the next couple of days or so, and they'll all be gone, um, and nobody will be the wiser. Um, if you joined us this morning for Facebook Live to find out about our matching um, uh, uh, gift that we had, I did talk a little bit about some of the changes that we've made to our enclosure building. Um, and we are now down here with Shayla at her lockout. Um, and these are some of the changes that we have uh, done in the, in the recent past um, and will continue to move forward with, which include um, a new design on our feeding chutes. Um, these feeding chutes allow our keepers, one, to have a very easy place to clean um, after they've done feeding. It also gives us an opportunity to be able to feed things um, that are larger without having to actually shift our animals away in order to be able to go in, put the food in, then come back out. Um, so it makes everything just much more efficient um, and easier on the keepers. Um, and then the animals get to enjoy um, all the lovely food. Um, this is obviously a smaller space than what we would normally have our animals in. Um, so this is just her lockout. She then has two parts of her enclosure, technically three parts of her enclosure, um, that are additional to this. Uh, but this is her lockout area. Um, and this allows us to be able to keep her in here, uh, say if she was injured, um, if, she was, if she were sick and we were trying to keep an eye on her. Um, it gives us a smaller space that we can work with. Um, normally we would just have everything open and she would go back and forth if she wanted to, um, but it does give us that flexibility in case um, we needed to take advantage of it. One of the things that I have liked the most, in all honesty, the feeding chutes are lovely, the smart space is great, but having their den boxes kind of up close and personal have made a really big difference um, in what we're able to do with these guys. And so having their den boxes where we can get to them really easily, and then having the shifting door that is over on her side of her uh, den box, that door is able to be shifted from the outside um, so that we can get access, gain access to her in the event that we need to give her medication um, or be able to check on her. And so that shifting option um, is really is, is, is a game changer for a lot of instances um, when we're trying to care for these guys. So these enclosures are really important to us. Um, they give us so much more flexibility um, and we're really excited to be able to uh, build our next one and be ready for more rescues. Awesome. I think Shayla had an in her den box now. <laughs> our She's like, I'm done. Pink and a uh, pink, our, our little green and purple Shayla <laughs> and back into her den box. She's like, I'm Hi. tired of you guys today. <laughs> so all of these new additions to um, our sanctuary are actually part of our tails, I always get it wrong, trails to tails project, where we are doing a lot of rehabbing of um, enclosures. We're adding new enclosures. We're getting ready for a second tour out. And that's all really, really exciting. And we're very grateful to um, our anonymous matching gift donor who has um, 
provided us with um, eighteen thousand dollars every year for the past four years, and so it really has made.